from Genesis to Revelation points to one man who would change the world. God's own son, Jesus. Come with us through time as we look at the signposts leading to the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Hello, Gizmo here. We have been reviewing our latest adventure, Revelation, The Final Battle. Our journey began in tragedy with a mistake. Chris thought he could never be forgiven for this mistake and that all hope was lost. It'll be okay. Once it's we... It's not going to be okay, Joy. It's never going to be okay. Chris was hurt and afraid, so he forgot God's promises. Do not be afraid. I will never leave you or forsake you. Chris also did not know that all of his sins could be forgiven, even burning down the house. When Jesus died on the cross, he paid for the sins of all who believe in him. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that whoever believes in him will not die, but have everlasting life. Even though our sins have already been forgiven, we still have hard times in life. There is a reason for this. The world is not the way God designed it. When Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, the world became flawed. Because of sin, there is sickness and death, and war, and cruelty. <laughs> Satan tempted Eve and Adam into sinning at the beginning, and he still tempts us to disobey today. All you need to do is eat the fruit. No, I know who you are. You're Satan, <laughs> the evil one, the devil. The good news is that Satan's power on Earth is going to come to an end. Throughout the Bible, the prophets have predicted the final days. I am here to bear witness to the end of days, when Jesus will return and set the world right. John wrote the book of Revelation to help others prepare for the coming of the Lord. Daniel also spoke of the final days, saying, At that time, Michael, the archangel who stands guard over your nation, will arise. Then there will be a time of anguish, greater than any since nations first came into existence. But at that time, every one of your people whose name is written in the book will be rescued. In the final battle, Jesus will defeat Satan once and for all. Be gone, Satan! With Satan's defeat, Jesus will begin healing the broken world. Do you not know that God is the Lord of restoring all things? The prophet Isaiah said, The Lord will mediate between nations and will settle international disputes. Nation will no longer fight against nation, nor train for war anymore. The prophet Zephaniah said, Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O Israel. For the Lord will remove his hand of judgment and will disperse the armies of your enemy. And the Lord himself, the King of Israel, will live among you. At last your troubles will be over, and you will never again fear disaster. Jesus himself said, Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my Father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. Jesus is preparing a new home for us, one where he will always be with us. Jesus said, And you will see the Son of Man seated in the place of power at God's right hand and coming on the clouds of heaven. All we have to do is be ready and help others prepare for the day Jesus arrives. And behold, I am coming quickly.